Yasu. Um, Melina Jeff. Again, let's see if I can put the phrases together where while my, my buddies are coming. So, um, okay. Um, and I'll, of course, I'm going to repeat some things that I already said. But, uh, um, Ego, Zustin, you know, menes polities, y me pondré menos. Ego, dio pedia. En a, en a yo, que mi acori. Stefania, Gerete. Eso. Hola. Es is. Es is. Um. Hola. El Cristo. Hola, hola. Es is. Bueno, por el calor. Um. Sí, mira, sí, Ah, Gala, a pieces. I wonder, I wonder, like, if uh, if we can answer to Tikan as, as like what we did, or if there's another expression for that. I, I haven't been able to find that out yet. Oh, yeah, we should ask. We should ask. I just I thought it'd be like an American. How are you? And it's always good. Yeah, but it's like, Tikkun is also mean like what? What are you? What are you doing? Right? What? So yeah, like, like yeah. What do you do? What are you doing? Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. It's just weird. Every every time like, I I ask somebody Tikkun is. Uh -huh. um, But it is what it is. Um, so my internet is super slow. Did you say? Did you ask me a question? Because I lost you for a couple seconds. Oh no! I, I was I was just saying like, um, sometimes I say "tikanis," but I have the impression I I have the intention of asking what the person is doing and not how yeah. the person is doing. But I don't know if yeah, yeah. a person will receive the question. As what I was okay. trying to ask. Gotcha. That, That's actually a important question because yeah, like you don't know what you don't want to know how they're doing. You want to know what they're doing. Yeah, it's good to have a separation because we we want to know how they they are actually doing, but yeah, you know, ask what they are doing as in like, hey, so what what are you up to? Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. So any breakthrough this week? Uh, not ever since I made the video. Okay. Yeah, same here. I wasn't able to talk to Artemis or um, Dimitris. Mm -hmm. I was just studying the vocab and reading. I'm reading the Book of Mormon in Greek, so. Uh -huh. that's, Are you that's underlining more words? <laughs> no, I, I decided not to underline on this one. <laughs> because I know I'm going to spend way more time underlining <laughs> this one. <laughs> Because <laughs> there's a lot of cognates and a lot of roots, so I want to spend yeah. a lot more. I'm going to spend more time underlining than reading, so I'm, I'm reading for <laughs> half understanding, half, uh, like half pleasure, half learning. Yeah. The rules is the same. Like if I, if I see the word more than three or five times, I'm going to stop and look up the dictionary. I just haven't had the time to, to find a, a little notebook where I can write the words, but I'm going to start mm -hmm. that. I, I feel up about... I don't know, maybe thirty or forty pages of a little, of a little notebook when I did Damn. that with the mommy Dutch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and did you yeah. ever? Did Sorry, you ever find somebody to speak Dutch with? Dutch? Yeah, I had a companion for a week. Uh, actually, eight what days. happened? Uh, so he helped me a lot with pronunciation back. When when he was my companion, I I didn't know a whole lot. 
I was just uh, like, like stuck. Were you on a mission? Yes. What do you call it? Yeah, do you call it a mission? I don't even know what it's called. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. So he helped me some, but I wish I had him like towards the end when I was finished the Book of Mormon. Because I would <laughs> so you know more. Exactly, I would maybe be able to like put phrases together. And I went when I went to visit him in Holland. Uh, my most of the vocab I learned was gone. Oh. Yeah. When did if you I, visit him? Was it like way after you finished reading? Oh yes, yes. I finished in January two thousand six, and I visited him in May two thousand twelve. Okay, yeah, like six years. Yes, like yeah. if I if I go more in Dutch and start reading, I can remember the the, the things that I read and uh, and a lot of things come back. But you speak as a different beast. Wait, is it useful? Useful though, because like. Do people actually talk like they do in the Book of Mormon? I've never read it, so I don't know. But I'm assuming it's kind of like the Al-Quran or the Bible. Like, I don't think people will talk like that in real life. Well, it depends, depends on the language it is translated to. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there, there are some archaic words used in the Book of Mormon. But there's a bunch of words that you can also use in a daily conversation. You know, So it's not a total waste of time. Just like when you read the, the, the Bible or the Book of Mormon in English, there are some words that are very different. From the normal uh, colloquial converse, uh, colloquial language, yeah. But there are a bunch of vocab that you can use daily. You know, like uh, family. What is wrong with the internet? Oh, so you read two or three times, and you already went through the uh, by the the word like. A bunch of times. Uh, let me let me get the book. Hold, hold on, a second. Okay. Yeah. So I just bought a new copy so I can make notes of it. <laughs> because, like I said before, I I don't know if I mentioned, but I hate to writing books. So it took a lot of effort for me to underline that one copy of the book more. But I had two. If I'm mm -hmm. like, writing on one, you bet. I have a second one that is sitting in the library. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. <laughs> so you have so, a spare one. <laughs> exactly. So, for example, um, actually, hold on. I'm going to open here and share the screen. It's going to be easier. Okay. I'm so frustrated. I'm like trying to say stuff in Greek as you were saying stuff back and I'm like, I don't know most of these words. They're basic words, right? They're like, oh, really? Or like, oh, I'm going to open it on my screen or whatever. Yeah. Mm. But I think, I think we need to start like forcing ourselves to, to make notes or like we, we, one of these days we need to get together and make one little video where we are just BSing. And then, as homework, we need to. That's what we did last time. To Greek. Because that's gonna push our vocab to like mm -hmm. places where no man has ever been before. <laughs> yeah. Let me see if we can. Where's the, the sharing button? Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. It is crazy when you when you share the the screen and you still hang out. Did it change yeah. now? Okay. Yeah, so, it's stable now. Yeah. So if if you ever want to access, and I'm I'm not I'm not pushing religion on you. I'm just giving you a, a directions on how to get to 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 the Book of Mormon Greek if you ever want to check it out. Okay. Uh, you go to lds.org, and then you click here on on this little worldwide thingy. And click on English. It's gonna take mm -hmm. you to a language list. So, see, this is all the material that is available. So you go to. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of interesting things. Uh, I'm not the only one. So I notice a lot of people when they try to say Greek in Greek, they say Elenika, not Eliniki, Elenika, um, mm -hmm. which is. I don't know, and like I thought it was just me, but I watched a few other people's um, 30 day update video, 
people who are learning Greek, and they also say Elenika, and I just thought it was, it was really weird that um, everybody's making the same mistake. With Elenika? Yeah, yeah, people say Elenika instead of Elenika. I don't know, it's, it sounds, I don't know. It sounds more natural <laughs> to say yeah. Elenika, maybe because, I don't know. Yeah, and I, and I noticed everything... that I, I, I misspelled a couple times on my, on my YouTube channel, too. <laughs> See, I always... <laughs> I always write it correctly, but when I say it, I say Elenika instead of Elenika. <laughs> I, I don't know why. And so I was listening to other people's um, videos, and I noticed the same thing. And it's also really funny to, like, watch other people's videos, and then, um, oh, the Biblio, the Mormon. 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 Yeah, uh, let me see if you can go down here. And then, like, you can... I don't know, hear different types of Greek because their um, people's like native languages or the languages they speak influence the their Greek accent. And I thought it was really funny. Mm-hmm. Let me see let, let me see if Nikos can read to us. Nikos? Yeah. If my <laughs> computer is Greek so Yeah, Yasu, Yasas. Yasu Tikanis? Um, Kala, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, God, I can't speak. Then, then, Mira, um, uh, K, K, Su, and you, okay, say, okay, oh, God. <laughs> and, um, you sound sick, or did, the, did you just wake up? I I've, <clears throat> I feel like I'm waking up. I guess a little. Uh, my throat, yeah, is a little. Um, or maybe you've been speaking too much Russian. <laughs> probably that, yeah. yeah. Man, I loved your video, bro. It sounds really good. Cool, thank you. Efkaristo, uh, Efkaristo, <laughs> and happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It was yesterday, right? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I saw your message about um, obviously probably being busy, um, so no problem with that. But uh, yeah, I'll 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 send you a link for the um, the hangout. Um, we had a few other new people, but um, we yeah we, it was kind of it was helpful, interesting as as cool. usual. Yeah, I would love have participate on that one because it's a very interesting subject. But uh, I was I was uh, up until late. Late at night, fixing stuff and packing stuff, and then when I woke up, it was already gone. So I'm like, God, damn. Uh, no, no problem. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, um, in my uh, language exchange group, you're you're welcome to join if you uh -huh. if I haven't sent you a link yet. Um, I should send you. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, where is the link here? And I just updated the um, the group uh, description because we've had a few problems recently. But uh, mm. uh, here, where is it? Yeah, we're we're getting probably if if I get around to adding new people, um, uh, doing the admin stuff, uh, we'll probably get close to twelve thousand people this week. Damn. Yeah, his group is his group is growing like nothing else. I was I was <laughs> shocked. Like he gets thousands of people every week. It's amazing. Yeah, I mean, the, I mean, it they've been, it kind of balances out. I mean, but we managed to keep growing. Um, I mean, people drop out, but that's normal. Uh, it's it's not no, that good. Like, the team. They're going up a couple hundred people every couple days. Yeah. Uh -huh. It means that you're getting like a lot of exposure because with with all the people that you lose, and you're still going up. That's that's amazing, huh? That's a pretty good thing. Mm -hmm. You're beating all yeah. the odds. Is it only for people? Is it only for people who are learning Greek? No, no, no. Um, there is a group for people who are learning Greek. I think uh, there's a couple, or, or there's a group for people learning Greek, and specifically going to like Thessaloniki. Uh, okay. I think you just joined that, Jeff. Like, uh, yep. Yeah. Um, and then, but 
but this one it, it's it's international. Um, I set this up about a year ago. Um, yeah. At the start of July. And uh, just I was getting so many requests from people on GoSpeaky, uh, another language exchange platform that I was using or still using, uh, and just getting like overwhelmed with a lot of requests for people wanting to have partners or exchanges. And I figured it would just be a lot easier if I could kind of broadcast uh, a message to like share content with with a, a group of people instead of individually. Mm -hmm. So that kind of, it started to grow little by little. Um, and I think around Christmas, New Year's, we were probably around 2,500 people around then. Um, and then it just kept growing, um, I think. And then by the time it reached about 4,000 people, then it was really just kind of, I had to start doing admin stuff. Um, and it was, mm -hmm. Slightly less fun. I bet there's a lot of like spam. Oh my gosh, yeah, spam, <laughs> spam, pornography, religion, politics. Yeah. Uh, I think, but it's right now today that I just updated the the um the description to include like, hey, please guidelines, don't post this, don't post that, please post this, please post. Yeah. So uh, just to kind of protect ourselves, because I I saw an interview from a fellow English teacher and, and he had he was talking to this one guy who was admin of a, like a group that just reached like a hundred thousand people uh, on Facebook Whoa. and they had like people moderating and all of it but from one day to another Facebook just deleted the group and said um, there were some problems uh, content oh. and then they tried to kind of um, bring it back try to like solicit uh, Facebook to say, please, please, no, we had all these guidelines, we had all this, and posting in a, like, a request in a certain way, and nothing happened. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I have to be careful um, if this is my only platform, uh, and I have to probably start building up my email list from these people, um, or, like, encouraging people to kind of discover me off Facebook, but uh, but so far it's been working. It's it's been a nice platform for me to meet a lot of uh, international people, encourage people to exchange languages, um, mostly be civil to each other um, when possible. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's crazy. Cool. Especially but, uh, when that amount of people is is hard to to control everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at, at some at some point it's been like I'm afraid to check out my my <laughs> messages to like okay something's going to be reported something that, I mean there's one of the guys who just tags me whenever there's like a problem and I'm like ah I see his name and I see my name being mentioned <laughs> the messages I'm like oh no uh, what what's going on now um, so so at some point yeah it's a lot of admin stuff. But, um, but I, I still enjoy it. I still enjoy it, and, and there's a lot of really um, fascinating exchanges that happen out of that, and, um, and and some really useful masterminding as well. Okay. Okay. So um, to get into this, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That's cool. uh, we were <laughs> we were uh, Stephanie and I were talking about like what we did during the through the week for for Greek, and I mentioned that I'm reading the Book of Mormon. And um, I'm not trying to get religious here. I'm just explaining what I what I did mm -hmm. uh, in parallel to what I did with Dutch. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah that was interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, what happens is um, I was explaining to her that there's a lot of words that repeat themselves mm -hmm. in the verses and chapters and stuff. So that creates an extra exposure. So let me share the screen again, and I'm going to show what I'm talking about. And out of the tunnel. Get out of the tunnel. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, if, if we start right here, this is like the very first chapter of the book of Nephi. Mm -hmm. um, right here. So, I'm 
pretty sure you can under, you will be able to understand most of this this verse here. Tell me what you can see in this verse that's familiar. Um, Yevo. Echo. Echo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Russian. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's Echo? what's on Nephi? Uh, Nephi. This is his name. Oh, Nephi. Okay. Okay, so gonna... we found the first right. one. Hey, could you, um, oh no, well, I guess that's me, but. Uh, if you click on the square on your name, uh, it will keep the video on your view, I guess. Or oh, hold on. let me see. Or at least, I mean, Stefania, if you click, yeah, you I, click just, on, on I just I just realized square, that too, so I can actually read it now. Yeah, because anytime we start talking, um, no, you don't have to change it, uh, Jeff. I think it's also. I only know Chronicle. So what? Echo, echo, Gonefi, Pu, Echo, Genisi. Is this including like ancient Greek or something as well? Oh, is there's it? There's like a couple extra. There's a couple extra diacritics. Yeah, the, the, the polytonic. It, uh -huh. it could, at this point, I can't tell you, <laughs> but uh, I I think it's just the polytonic. I I don't think. I don't think is uh, ancient Greek because this is created okay. with modern. Language. Uh huh. Okay. Mm. There's a drama. So, Mia. Apo is. Which is one are you reading? From. Apo is from. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Exeretus. Gones parents. Gones, their children. No, Gones, her parents. Uh-huh. He after and he or that? Um he, this. yeah. Tika. <laughs> Go Gno Gno. Gnosis. I know that one is Gno. Oh, Gnera, there's father. Wait, my father. Wait. Ooh. What does yeah. that mean? No, about the... my father. You know Almost. about my father. Is this the our father? No, no, that would be our. That would be. Closest, closest to Pateramu. You know. The you know language... something, my father. Language of my father. Ah, language. Oh, no. that's language. That is not a good language. Glossy. Yeah, glossies. Oh, uh, oh, no, okay. hold on. It's, it's, it's not no. glosses. No, no, it's, it's, no. no. It's like, isn't that parents or something? Or uh, knowledge, knowledge. 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 Sorry, knowledge. knowledge. Oh, no. Uh, I thought it was a verb, because the ending is like the verb for Sue. Yeah, my bad. I, 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 was, I, was, I had a brain fart. This is not language. It's not. <laughs> yeah, no, something like that. It's like, where's the L? Where's the L in it? Yeah. <laughs> it's upside down. <laughs> Que puedo di pola vasana kata tin poria ton imeron. I don't understand the the accents. Do I ignore them? Yes, just ignore them. Okay. See the imeron. That's something in. That's a noun. No, that's a past tense. I don't know. No, it's a because it's moved. Or a third person. My now in the generation. Uh, now, so yeah, it's my something. You move in my days. Oh, okay, in my days. Imeron. Oh, like, um, they, oh, okay, yeah, Imeron. Yeah. Who uh, almost echo something, something I have. I have. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> okay, you know this. something big. I have something big. Se me galo. You know this. Mo. Echo. Something big. I don't know. And his. I have. I have. Big. Uh. uh Vathmo. I, I don't know what Vathmo is, but <laughs> like in his uh, great knowledge or understanding or something like okay. that. 
But it's Demigalo is he is no I don't understand the accents like at all. Was what it supposed this? Tonkirio Tiris? Uh the Lord? Yes, exactly. Okay. The Mister. The Mister. <laughs> the Mister. The Mister with the capital Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> Say the last. What's the last? It popped up earlier. The what? The last. Oh, less. This? No. No, that's a the, right? No, that's a, okay, a bunch of okay, uh, diacriticals. Egron. Something. Something with day or days. Ago. I guess. My days? It's, uh, I googled it and it says something about like all. But, no, wait. To all? Say all this. Okay, well. Malista. Malista. Que pues homelan me jali me jali gen no es I recognize that one. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> <laughs> one out of like 20 words is good Which enough one? apparently. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got that one. Que pues ho three words in a row. That's amazing. Uh, oh, but pues ho me ja me jali well, that's the same thing that's repeated. By from the, the way, bottom. Jeff. Exactly. Jeff, Artemis was like, so we skyped once, and then she was laughing at you because you couldn't say Rama. The what? Say it again. We um, I skyped with Artemis once, and then she was trying to teach me how to say Rama, and then she was like laughing really hard, and then she said, "Yeah, it's better than Jeff's." <laughs> She's so funny. She is awesome. I love her. Can you pass me her yes, contact? I mean, yeah, sure. if, if the two of you have already worked with her, might as well have a okay. stab at kind of butchering yeah. Greek. I think she knows about you, Jonathan, because she said something like, yeah, I know Jeff, and I'm talking to you, and then there's her person who never talks on the chat or something like that, and I'm pretty sure she means you. Oh, it's because it's because she watched our videos. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm uh, the guy who doesn't talk on the chat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The message. So, let me let me do something. The messenger. The messenger. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Okay. Here, I think I, I'm gonna use uh, a different tool here, so we can uh, we can make marks on this thing. Hold on. Wow, she watches her videos? That's incredibly amazing and patient. <laughs> well, F. Caristo Artemis, if you're watching this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on. Uh, what's watch? I can't remember. Wait, I know I said this. Um, I know it in Russian. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, good job with your 90 minute video. That's pretty impressive. So what? Uh, yeah, it was, it was crazy. I was like, wow. I mean,. Yeah, Anna is, is a good friend, but yeah. But that was actually the first time we've spoken fully only in Russian. I've I've known her now for like close to a year and a half online, and um, she's been constantly trying to encourage me, like, "Hey, let's speak in Russian." And I'm like, and I'm trying to type furiously, and it just it doesn't work on the keyboard. And then I like I break back into English, and then. Um, but she's been very supportive, so it was great to have the video with her um, after all this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this will be easier. There we go. Okay, so okay, so we have. Let me change the color of this thing. There we go. Okay, so we have. Ego. Ooh. There we go. OK. 
Can you all hear me, like, just fine? Yeah. Because mine's breaking up. Okay. So it might just be my internet or something. Oh, I know one more word. You, they, you. Okay. Yeah. 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 Nah. Why did you see that? Oh, uh, above, like you on top of it. No, no, oh yeah, that too. Yeah. Don you Leon in Judea. No, in the Judeans. Where are you seeing that? Where you just underlined? Oh, this one. I this this is the the knowledge here. This you know. Um, you know, system, you deal, yeah, you know, but there's another the knowledge, the knowledge of the Jews. Yeah, but that's like a that's a oh yeah, that's a different um, form. The one I was looking at was the one at the top, which was just the word the Jews. It's above the it's in the introduction, the little oh here paragraph in italics. Oh okay. Nee, but go down. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Ne. Nee. And then oh, there's yeah. Biblio, yeah. which everybody knows. Yeah, did you? Okay. I didn't even read the top, so. Onesi Archi. Oh, Biblio, okay. Zito Chronico to la. 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 what is that? Lau. Lau. tu. What are you reading now? The top. Olehi. Ble what's oh. blepi? It pops up all the time, and I know I know the word. I don't remember what it is. Lehi. This is his father. Oh, Levi. <laughs> no, Le Lehi. Okay. No, no. I was looking at the the word next to it. Blippi? Yeah, I yeah. just saw it the other day. Yeah, it oh. sounds really familiar, but I don't remember what it is. Let's look at it. I finally downloaded a Greek keyboard so I can type things. So that's good. Yay! <laughs> it took me a month. But you you have that normally in Windows. Why did you download? Yeah, that's what I meant by download. I finally figured out the settings. <laughs> <laughs> Forgetting to change it, so I just with a Roman alphabet. Um, now you're blocking, you're breaking. I can't hear her. You oh no, can you hear me now? Oh no, I can hear you. Yeah, oh, I'm googling. He sees. Oh, see. Yeah, oh, sees? Okay. Yeah. He sees something, dra the, the drama, my drama. What's say? Is that Orama. Or is that an. Orama. Oh, okay, no, it's an Omicron. Just kidding. Orama. Orama is vision. So he sees a vision. My vision. Purini. Pirini. P oh yeah. Pirini. Yeah. Uh, Googling that. P Fiery. Fiery? Oh, like pyro, okay. Um, ah, interesting. Okay. Pirini. Uh Pirini sti steely. Steely. What is steely? Steely is a column of fire. Oh, like a pillar, like a column of fire. Oh, and stilos. Yeah, stilos. Pillar of, yeah, he sees a vision, a pillar of fire, yeah. and... Diafazi. What is diafazi? That's a verb. It's yep, and you guys know. I try to use that, like, read? Yes. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. And he reads from a. Bro. What is this? Come on, you know this one. A biblical prophet? No. Prophetico? No. Prophetic he... book. Prophetic. Like okay. Oh, I wasn't that far off, I guess. <laughs> Prophetico biblio. 
Yeah. Uh, dozo. Dozo. Doxo. Doxology. Yeah, doxology. Isn't doxology like the modern English word? The what? There's, it's a word, right? Doxology. I've never heard it. I I don't know how I would interpret that word. The, wait, the study of what's right? Oh, to to praise, like, to think. Oh, well, okay. Or. Uh, liter, li, liter, how do you put liturgical? Liturgical. Liturgy. Liturgical. Oh, liturgy. Liturgical formula of praise to God. That doesn't. That doesn't help. I don't know what it means though. To praise. I only know the word because I have to say stuff like that. I don't know what it means. To praise God? Wait, which one? The dogs? Whatever, my internet's too slow to be able to Google things. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, what are we reading? Uh, here, let me change the color. So this here is to praise God. Okay. Well, logo, I guess, is, yeah, word. Yeah. Okay, so, prolegi ton er homo tu messia. Well, see, like, there's a lot of cognates like this. Er homo. The messiahs, uh-huh. What's prolegi? I don't know any of these words oh. except for Messiah. Prole que profit teni? It's profit something? I don't know. Tin catastrophe. Eh! Hey, catastrophe. Oh, a catastrophe. A catastrophe. Jeez. <laughs> like catastrophe. Okay. Catastrophe. I think that's the one word I've heard in every single language I learn. That's true. It's every language has that. Yeah, I mean, Roman languages, at least. Catastrophe, catastrophe is destruction. Yeah. Ah. So it's basically he he prophesies the coming of the Messiah and prophesies Prophesied the destruction of the Jew, Jews, the Judean of people. Jerusalem. No, I think it's different. Oh, it's right. Jerusalem. Yeah, yeah, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Yeah. So choose something. Katadiokun. Katadiokun. I'm gonna let Google tell me that one. Katadiokun. Yes, please. Katadiokun. That uh, persecution. Mm. All right. So the persecution of the Jews. Paragraph. It's already. It's already full of like. It's already full of happy things. <laughs> yeah, he has a very crazy vision. Is this the entire book? Is this what it's about? No, this no that that is the 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 summary of the first chapter. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what 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 basically happens is is that you have here. Okay. You have an introduction to, like, and Nephi is talking about the knowledge that he received from his father. The and entire chapter. Yeah. And then on the rest, he keeps on, on saying, like, how much he learned and why he's writing, why he's making the records, and what happens to the, the Jews. Um, they don't listen. Yeah, and no, no, it's like, like what, what was happening, because this happened during the the... The reign of King Zedekiah. So you see here Zedekiah. Mm. Where? Oh yeah. Yeah, right here. What does that sound? Is it just me? Did you hear that? Which yeah, sound? Yeah, sometimes the connection kind of comes and goes with Google Hangouts. Yep. Okay. Uh, and um, so this is basically the the introduction of of his book, and he's explaining right. what he makes and what where he's coming from, but. The, the main reason I uh, opened this is, is to, to show this thing here. Like, if you, if you look at the first, the first um, verse here, look at this. You have 
Hipnosis. Is he no me? Hipnosis. Hipnosis. Then you have. His knowledge. The knowledge. We'll see again. And then you have. Where's the other one? Oh, uh, uh, here. This Gnosis again. Then you have. Uh, Tupateramu. And you have Tupateramu. Glossa. Steen Glossa Tupateramu. What is that? Uh, language. But in the language? Of the whole thing. In the language of his father? Exactly, oh. in the language of my father. So, oh my. like, okay. yeah, so you see this repetition all over and over again, and it, it becomes really clear. You know, especially this one, I, I will be here like a couple hundred times. <laughs> so, like, you see all over the place. And once you know the meaning, you look up the meaning once, the next time you look at it, just fixation. It's just your fixation. You're not going to forget again. Mm. And, of course, you don't have to do that like with the Book of Mormon specifically because the Bible is the same. It's the same thing, you know, like you, you can read the Bible and words will repeat, it, uh, re repeat themselves. Or if you read a book, this, this happens more often in kids' books than in adult books, but it will happen in adult books too, just more like sparse. Mm-hmm. No. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, let me see. For example, this one here. oste, que oste, and again here is the equivalent of the expression "it came to pass." Okay. And this happens like every other verse. So you may not be able to. To use it very much, but if you see any of those words later on in any other text, it's going to be pretty clear. Let me see what Google gives as the translation for that. Come on, Google. Change that channel for me. Why, why am I expecting Google to change? I can just type in Greek, aren't it? Okay. Yeah, and became so. Or, and it was made or, or was done. So basically the same, the, the equivalent of it came to pass. Let me see what else is being repeated here. Oh, uh, we have we have Jerusalem here. Again, again here. So, yeah, like I can see that that a, a whole bunch of these terms are religious, like uh, Kirio and Diu uh, and Jerusalem, mm -hmm. Jerusalem. Uh, but uh, there are a bunch of other words that are just Especially for us, like here, stin glossa tu pateramu. That's something that we are gonna mm -hmm. use all the time because most of the stuff we talk about is languages, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we can use that pretty often. And I, I do speak the language of my father. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's like you you keep on repeating these things over and over again, chances are you're going to remember. Mm -hmm. so that, that's how I use, I use it as, as a tool for, for my studies. Mm -hmm. But well, nothing, nothing keeps you from like looking up other books. You, know? you, can, you can find Harry Potter, you can find The Lord of Rings in Greek, and you, you might probably be able to download it. However, I'm not sure I would necessarily I remember, like really read those books in English to begin with. So um, like I'm trying to figure out like some simple text that like Is I there like a newspaper online? 
I mean, yeah, newspapers, yes. provided you understand, like, yeah, but the, the problem with, uh, with the new newspapers is because uh, they're going to use all, like, crazy terms like economy and politics and... Yeah, but maybe we can, is there, like, a section that talks about no. culture or talks about whatever? I That's don't read true. the papers anymore, but, yeah. Or a Wikipedia article about something you've already you already yeah, know about. Yeah, that's usually what I yep. do. Yeah. Or can you look up like The Little Prince? Yeah, I'm looking mm. up um, children's books. There's a there's a there's this one uh, website that has a lot of kids books translated in a bunch of different languages. I can't I can't remember right now. I'm gonna look up and I'll and I'll send it to you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But yeah, this this is one one of the things that I do. For example, on Sunday, I try to avoid studying other stuff. I try to read the, the scriptures so I can still do my studies and read the scriptures at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know, especially because if I go to the Old Testament, it's gonna be a different mm -hmm. beast to fight. Yeah, you end up, as the Russians say, um, harming two birds with one shot. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. not that I'm not that I'm reinventing the bicycle. <laughs> when they reinvent the wheel, yeah. That's that's so funny that it's similar. Mm -hmm. and, uh, what is it in Portuguese? Oh, I don't know. For what which one? Dialing to Bristol and Stone. Killing two birds with one stone. Uh, now, in Portuguese, we we <laughs> we are we are a little evil on that one. We kill two rabbits <laughs> with one stick. With one what? With one stick. Oh, okay. Or with one hitting of a stick. Oh yeah. Greatest from my casa that I saw. Let me go back to the to the hangout. Hold tight. I'll have to put a post for these idioms in the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. In Indonesian, it's um, while you're swimming, you're drinking. The what? The the same principle, but you say um, we say while you're swimming, you're drinking to do two things at once to kill two birds with a stone. Oh, okay. So I don't know. I don't know why that one's different. Like you're not killing anything. You're not harming anything. <laughs> That's a more pacifist one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. You know, they're they're like, if you pay attention on some proverbs and some like. Kids' stories or songs, they are <laughs> weird. For example, that Ring Around the Roses uh, kid's song is so creepy, it's not even funny. Well, it, it, it did came from the time of the Great Plague, or the Black Plague. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool, uh, yeah. It beats me. But you know, like in uh, in different uh, cultures, different stories will have different endings. For example, like the three little piglets, or however you say that in English. Mm -hmm. in, Japanese, little pigs. Mm -hmm. in Japanese, they are eaten. They <laughs> they become soup. <laughs> I remember that was the first story that I read in Japanese back when I was in Japanese school in Brazil. My my teacher made me write and translate the whole book. <laughs> Into oh. Portuguese? Into Portuguese. <laughs> yeah, of course, it's a kid's book, right? So really thin. But think about it. All in Japanese. I had to write everything and then translate everything. Oh, no. Yeah, it was, it was rough. And I was the only adult in the class. The, old, <laughs> the second oldest person in my class was nine. <laughs> yeah. Wait, everybody had to translate a book? No, they were playing games and singing okay. songs, and I was sitting in the back, writing kanji the whole day. <laughs> the whole day, kanji. Did the and teacher not like you? <laughs> no, no, she actually liked me. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be there. 
what happened was I was taking Japanese night classes, right? Uh, Tuesday and Thursday. But uh, it was since it was an adult class, uh, it was really slow, very yeah. slow. And you know, like for us, a language class, a normal language class, is like nails other than nails. You know, like pins other than nails. It's a torture. Yeah. So I went to the teacher and I asked, like, do you have any other class? Like, do you have a fast-paced class or do you have anything else? She's like, no, the only other class. It's for the kids during the day, and it's every day. So I asked, well, can I come? She's like, well, we wouldn't be able to charge you because it's a different system. Uh, and it's a Japanese school, like a full-blown Japanese school. Like an immersion? No, no, there's, it's not even an immersion. It's like full Japanese. They don't even okay. call it immersion. You get in, and there's absolutely nothing in Portuguese your Japanese Japanese culture, the teacher is Japanese, everything in the wall is Japanese, is behind a book. Where and in Brazil? Yeah, in, in Sao Paulo. You find that, like in Suzano, we had uh, three of those in my town oh. alone. In Sao Paulo, really? you find those. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah, a bunch of them. My, I my, expect it. my teacher didn't speak Portuguese. <laughs> So I talked to my teacher at night, and she was like, well, let me talk to, to the other teacher and see what she thinks. Nice. So next, next time I come around, she's like, yeah. She said, you can come. You're welcome to come. Uh, well, you're going to be with the kids, but she can help you out every now and then. So and, and here's the thing with Japanese people. They, at first, they will see what you're made of, right? So if you say, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. You better be ready. You better show what you're a bit of, right? So I got there, and she was like, well, okay, so why don't you write about yourself, and, and, and then you're going to explain me about yourself. I'm like, okay. So I started writing, and I love kanji. I, I always loved kanji. Kanji, hanzu, and hanja. All of them. You know, Japanese, Chinese, and Korean, bring them on. So I, I always love the, the Chinese, uh, the original characters. So when I was writing, I, I put down as many kanji as I knew. So when the teacher came back and she, she looked at it, she was like, did you know you don't need to, to use this kanji? Did you, do, did you know you don't need to use this kanji? How do you know this kanji? And I'm like, well, I just love them. So I, I, I didn't know, so I just, just use them. She's like, oh. You like kanji, huh? Okay. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> she grabbed a book about this thick. <laughs> it was pure kanji. So she was like, this will be with you every day. <laughs> every day she made That's me look so up fun. like a certain amount of kanji. Every single day. I want a teacher like that. The what? I want a teacher like that. Oh, yeah. Not sarcastically, like, <laughs> but like, you know, because yeah. most classes are just like, oh, we're going to learn about the present tense for five months or whatever. No, this, this teacher, she, she explained very little of grammar because she could not speak Portuguese. Yeah. So she would come and talk to me straight up Japanese, as <laughs> slow as she could. So and good she would for What? Sink or swim. Mm. Exactly. And whenever she needed to explain While something, you're drinking. Yeah. Critical, <laughs> she called her daughter, her teenage daughter, for her to explain to me in Portuguese. Uh -huh. But but generally, like I'll just I'll just be sitting in the, the back of the class, going over lessons and writing kanji all the time. And like for tea time, she would take me in with the other teachers. <laughs> <laughs> I was an adult, right? I was an adult. I couldn't play with the kids. So I would have to... Yeah. B back then, I drank a green tea. So uh -huh. uh, I wasn't Mormon yet. So uh, I, I really enjoyed it because they would be talking in Japanese for the whole break, and I'm just there sing letting it sink, sick in, you know? And, yeah. and I'm like, this, this is awesome. So, like, in two months of... Uh, of uh, Less there, I learned over 500 countries. Mm -hmm. Wow. So um, 
it, it was really good, but then I, I had to go, get out because I had to go back to work, you know, I had to, like, my, my training in the Army was, was going to restart, so it was going to start, actually, so I couldn't continue. Mm. It's good to have somebody that will actually pressure you to do things. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to do whatever the heck you like and, and skip the rest. Mm. That's awesome. Hey, uh, Jonathan, I noticed that you updated the the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks much good. Did you see where our team is now? Uh, the our Greek group, like like third place or something. I mean, as yeah. of like yesterday or something. <laughs> except, so. unfortunately oh, wait, for me, I haven't though, updated um, it in a while. Except, unfortunately for me, when I went in on Saturday, like. I was hoping to update A115, <laughs> uh, so I got like really just I, I should have done that like like a few days ago. So um, so I don't know what Brian's going to say about um, me being eligible for being voted for the end of uh, A115 um, because like I think I got like sidetracked and I think I got like up to something around like day. 70, 80 of getting the tracker updated when I was with my Russian. So all of, a, all of a sudden now, and then I didn't get a chance to like log in one or two classes I had with one of my teachers for the mini challenge number three. So my name isn't in that list. I like um, just the, the problem of like you're so busy actually studying language, and then you have to be putting the time on the tracker. You're like, I'm actually studying this language, but I'm like. I'm not so good on the um, accountability side of the actually putting logging and the time there, uh, so it, there's some proof, um, so everybody can see that. But so I'll will see what Brian says. But um, <laughs> I'm at pretty sure. Point, about it. I, at this point, I'm really happy with what I've done with the Russian. Um, I'll see if uh, what he says about um, being eligible for the uh, kind of. Because it's saying like, okay, you updated the tracker for 90 days. You participated in every single one of the mini challenges, and then participating in the community. Um, so, and I'll see what he says. Yeah, I, I, I totally. I, I think that he's not going to have a problem with that. And then talk, talking about uh, 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 accountability and stuff like that, I'm going to create a file right now for us to start making phrases. Not copying them from some other source, but our own, our own uh, phrases. And I'm gonna make here like three different tabs, so we can start um, entering them. Let me. Yeah. So you guys know, like this mini challenge two that's about to start on day forty is we have to. Do well. I mean, it's probably not going to be the three of us together. It's probably going to be we're we're probably going to be competing against each other in different groups. Um, and uh, the idea is writing sentences like five to six. I think it's minimum six words, and um, minimum three sentences per day, and the maximum is thirty sentences. So um, very quickly, you you. You want to start telling other people in your mini group, like, "Hey guys, it's day 40. Start, start making some sentences," um, and then and that'll that'll be logged. That'll be on the same site that you're doing the time tracker, but it'll just be for the mini challenge. And then um, that you'll be once you reach like like when it when it reaches midnight in London, I guess is when it kind of. Um, resets for the day. Uh, so okay. as long as you get up to that hour, um, you, you can be up submitting up to like 30 sentences each day. Nice. That's really cool. Yeah, I already started making some sentences, but that'll be good to have the push. So I just send you, I just shared a file with you guys, Greek sentences uh, practice. So uh, if you look on the bottom, there'll be three tabs. Where did you send it, or where did you share it? Oh, we just write on on our own spreadsheet. Oh, okay. It. Yeah, let me find that. Yeah. 
and then we can look at each other's sentences. No copying and pasting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we, we were we weren't able to to create much much sent, uh, many sentences today because we we're looking at other things, and I gotta get going. But uh, we can start doing that, and we we'll update uh, every day. Uh, do you guys wanna set a goal, a daily goal for this for this sheet until we start the mini challenge? Uh, I guess would be. Mm. So more than half of the stuff that you said was like all warped and distorted. But I heard something <laughs> about like a spreadsheet and making sentences and not um, like copy and pasting it from <laughs> the internet. Yep. So Correct. like. I, yeah, I just I just shared a document with you. Okay. Did you receive the document? The only thing that I heard that was loud and clear was like, no copying from the internet. So I was like, okay. <laughs> I so got yeah, that part. I just shared uh, a document <laughs> with you. But for the rest, like you guys were just breaking up. Okay. Um, let me post. Let me see if I can open here on the other computer and uh, send you the link. Okay. Is that this thing is gonna open? Come on, let's go to Google. I'm opening the document, but my connections get slow. Okay. Okay, right here. It's empty. The, the file is basically empty right now, but um, just put away. So uh, put the sentence there. So what do you guys think is a good uh, goal, a daily goal for putting sentences there? Um, Five, ten, fifteen. What do you guys think? Um. Maybe five for a couple of days, and then if that works, then a little bit more successive. Uh, per, yeah. Um, after if that. it's ten, I would just like talk about the same stuff and change one word or something like that. So. Yeah, actually, then three is even hard. Five. Three is Sorry, even so hard if your imagination <laughs> runs out. What's up? What, what did you say? I I, lo uh, I didn't hear the first part of your comment. Uh, yeah, I, I think said like three is five. even difficult. Yeah, if you... Three to five should be good. Just because like yeah. if it were ten, I would just talk about the same stuff and just change one word and cheat. Okay, so five yeah. five sentences. What is the minimum five. amount of words? Three, three to five. The minimum I think is six during the uh, challenge. Six. Including including prepositions and conjunctions and stuff, right? It I think it's. It, they said six words is what they say on the, the challenge. I mean, even a, a single letter okay. is technically a word in certain languages. Yep. In Arabic, you can have five words contracted yeah, in one word. Because you said we can check it on the internet? What? Um, hear anything. It's just random noises. Don't you need to go? Can you just um, yeah, type that it up so on let's, let's do this. Five sentences with five words minimum per day. How does it sound? Five sentences, at least five words per day. Sure. Okay. 
Yeah, uh, sounds good. Okay, let's get this this thing up and running. Okay, I gotta go, guys. But uh, thanks for coming, and uh, let's uh, get this sentence started. And do you guys have any other ideas uh, for us to do during the week? Something about this week when we should hang out again. Is that uh, a ideas to do. I have to look at my schedule. I'm getting Thank a couple of new students, and then, really. and then this is my last, my kid's last week at school. So there's a couple extra <laughs> events that I have to yeah. go to. But um, I'll let you guys know my schedule, though. Okay. okay. Yeah, this this coming weekend is gonna be crazy because uh, we are moving out. We're moving to another place. Mm -hmm. mm, so okay. gonna be packing. My office is gonna get boxed up. <laughs> And on Friday, I think on Friday we start moving. It's going to be crazy. I need to take Toot to a new tomb. So. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, if, if you guys figure out um, other stuff, other ideas, just let's share and we can we can do more. We need, to, we need to take this to the next level. Okay? Yeah, I'm still slightly frustrated with my current level, I'm like, hey, I saw the word and. I recognize the word and. I, mean, I need to get a lot farther behind, beyond that after a month. So. Yeah, we, we, can, we can work uh, work on it now Now that your mind, your mind is Russian free, or at least Russian stabilized. <laughs> yeah, I, I proved myself so I can move on to something else now. And from, again, man, congratulations. Your video is amazing. Your language, language level is, is impressive. Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate that. Thanks. Okay, so I, I I'll see you guys sometime during this, during this week. Yeah. Okay. Adieu. Adieu. Adieu.